Now we talked earlier about poly painting, so if you hold down shift and you touch the paintbrush, you're going to see it's going to turn poly paint on for all these objects. Um, you can select any one of these objects and you can fill it with a color, or if you if you hold down shift and turn the poly the paintbrush off, you can go through here and you can select uh, any one of these colors and it'll go ahead and fill your all visible subtools with that color. And again, if you want to know more about the basics of all this stuff, make sure you go to my YouTube channel. It'll run you through in the ZBrush for Ideation playlist, you know, how to color and poly paint your object. I'm going to go ahead and load up an object that already has color applied. So you can see here's an object that's similar to the one we were playing with, but this one has poly painting applied. Now, because we only have the vertices filled with RGB information, you're going to see if I go down here and I change the material, the material will change on the fly, but the poly paint will stay the same. And of course, I can turn the poly paint on and off here. So when poly paint is on, I can hit BPR. And now you can see the poly paint with those shadow settings. And even with those few options, we're already starting to get kind of a stylized look. Now, one thing that might help is if you go up here to your document menu, and you're going to see there's a back area. That's the document background color. If you just click that and you pull off, you can actually select anything in your interface here. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to pick a white color from our color menu here. Or if you want to, you can just go ahead and uh, select a white color and then in your document, just click back and that'll inherit that background color. And now when I hit BPR, it's going to give us the illusion of, you know, like a white piece of paper with our rendered object on it. Now, one thing you can do if you want to like preview a poly paint without actually applying poly paint color, you can go back. Uh, we'll go back to this object here. And if you go ahead and turn on this poly frame button here, or you hit shift F. And now if we alt tap one of these, you're going to see we have poly frame or we have poly group color and then also fill information. So we want fill turned on. We want line turned off. That'll go ahead and give us color. So you can see as we alt tap any of these, that's going to give us uh, color information. And this one doesn't because it's actually an array mesh. So if you go on this side, you see that's actually an instance of this one. Uh, but the poly paint for uh, poly fill group fill color information is over here. If you go ahead and hit BPR, that'll go ahead and render your object with your poly group color. So that's one way to kind of get an interesting look if that's what you're going for, just a multicolored look, or if you just want to test what an object would look like poly painted, you can go ahead and use that option as well.